Victim mentality is for losers and it's designed to keep you broke and angry and not even enjoying your life, but merely existing in life. Whenever I see somebody who is constantly playing the victim or constantly complaining, whining, bitching about something, and it's usually things that didn't even happen in their lifetime, right? It's like, I see so many people, no matter what it is, complaining and whining about, crying about things that really didn't even have anything to do with them, but they're attaching themselves to their identity. And their identity, your identity is always going to be attached to some suppressed group, right? I mean, I can look at my ethnic background or whatever my preferences are and like, hey man, we're getting oppressed. We're getting oppressed. You know, and then all of a sudden I'm wasting my time watching all these uh, videos on YouTube, trying to connect with all, all these other losers on Facebook and what times of protest. Let's show up, uh, you know, before they do and let's bring our signs and all this other you know, horse manure that is just really, like I said, designed to keep you broke and angry. And uh, it's especially <laughs> interesting to me when I see these people who are like protesting, like tax the rich and all that. I mean, that's a big lie, by the way. I mean, any people who actually believe that they can actually tax the rich are living in fantasy land because I've been on both sides of the fence. I've been broke and now I'm doing well financially, right? And uh, there's no way they could tax the rich. <laughs> there's a reason why the rich are getting away with paying very little tax. And the reason why is because we create businesses. So we get tax breaks. Uh, we get to expense certain things that most people can expense, right? Like my, if I buy a laptop, it's for my company, I can expense that. If I buy a uh, friggin' brand new Range Rover, right, 6,000 pounds, which is the IRS uh, requirement, I can, ex I can expense that Range Rover, right? I can deduct it from my taxes. If I do anything, my cell phone is deductible. Everything I do is deductible. If I go to Vegas, why do you think I'm always shooting videos there? I'm on business, right? It's deductible. It's very hard to tax the rich because we have like so many deductions in so many ways to, I mean, especially real estate. I mean, <laughs> let's not forget that. You know, guys who invest in real estate, you get depreciation while the price of the real estate, the cost of it is going up. So, I mean, it's just magical how you get rewarded for creating jobs, right? Creating um, housing for people. You guys need to listen to Rich Dad Poor Dad. But you get rewarded for these things. So it's very hard to tax the rich. And they always talk about like how they need to pay their fair share. Rich people aren't paying their fair share. It's like, no, dude. Uh, rich people are paying more in taxes than uh, or the rich people like the wealthy in this country pay I think it's like something is astonishing like almost like over 85% of the taxes whereas most average people are only putting in 15% I mean really if they want to be fair they'd be like hey we got to tax these poor people some more right which they do because that's what that always falls upon this is why i tell you guys don't fall for that lie if you're still like voting that way and believing these politicians are like we're gonna tax the rich no because you know ends up paying you do right you end up paying more because all the rich do with their businesses they just raise the price of everything right they raise the cost of everything they're not dumb they're not stupid or they move somewhere else to another country i mean recently we had them increase the minimum wage in uh i mean here like in california i mean you could go flip burgers and make like 22 dollars an hour are you insane flipping a burger for this low skill and uh business owners have had enough of it that that's a minimum wage like oh they gotta have a living wage well guess what now these companies are creating robotics and i'm actually investing in a robotics company it's uh that is going to be placed in kitchens that are going to be making the french fries that are going to be flipping the burgers because that is the future thanks to the $22 minimum wage companies are like uh no no right i mean flipping burgers is you know that's like that's like a five eight dollar an hour job because i believe me i had that job back when i was younger i worked at mel's driving in san francisco i was a, what was called a soda jerk i was making the sodas right and i was only getting paid like 425 an hour that was the minimum wage and i got some tips so on average about six bucks an hour with tips and that job was hard i was always coming home dirty i always smelled like ice cream uh, but i busted my ass there because i wanted to do better i wanted to get a better job i wanted to make enough to to move up i wanted to get some skills 
I didn't want to stay there, right? However, if you paid me 22 bucks an hour, I probably wouldn't have left. And I'd probably be there right now making milkshakes. I wouldn't be doing these coaching videos right now. I wouldn't be driving this Range Rover, right? I'd just be there, you know, and uh, wouldn't have gone on the adventures and learned and, you know, read books. I, I wouldn't have cared. I'm like, I'm making 22 bucks an hour. I'm king. But this is why I say that. I mean, I can't stand the left. I, they destroy people's lives. I mean, they literally destroy people's lives uh, by just coddling them and not letting them fend for themselves and, you know, not teaching them how to fish, but giving them fish. You don't, you know, you don't teach a man to fish, you, you know, by giving him a fish. You teach him to fish by going, hey, go out there and fish, man, and tell me what you learn. Uh, regardless, guys, I mean, we are living in the most abundant time in history where it has never been easier to make money, to get rich, to become successful, to do whatever you want in life, no matter what it is, even if you don't want to get like, you know, filthy rich or start a business or anything, you know, you can do whatever you want and you can become successful at it. I mean, especially now with social media, I mean, you could get your work out there. You don't, I mean, if you want to be an actor, you don't need to go to Hollywood. You can start posting yourself online. You want to be a comedian? You don't need to go to the Laugh Factory on Sunset Boulevard and, you know, compete with Joe Rogan or anything. No, you know what you can do? You can get on YouTube and start posting your comedy. It's never been easier, right? And I see people doing it, and I respect those people. I respect people who go out and bust their ass. This is why I respect a lot of immigrants who come here from like Vietnam or Iran or wherever else, and they come to this country seeing opportunity, and you know what? They take advantage. They don't sit there, waste their time, go to protest, bitch about uh, some other class, uh, whine about, you know, they're oppressed and crying about all this stuff. Dude, go live your life. You're not going to be here that long. And I guarantee you, when you're 80 or 90 on your deathbed and you're looking back, you're going to be hating yourself for how much time you wasted doing dumb shit. Because that stuff is dumb. Okay? Most of it is dumb. I mean, there are certain causes I agree with. Like, hey, we need to bring more awareness to this or that. But most of it that I see these days is just like pure wokeness or pure division where it's just dividing the classes by race, sex, uh, income disparity. I mean, give me a break with that, right? Because you could do anything you want these days, right? You could be anything you want, but you know, people aren't choosing to do that. You know, they're not choosing to be, uh, you know, positive, they're choosing to be negative. They're choosing to be destructive, self-destructive. And really the only person you're hurting is yourself. You know, you're you're the one who's pissing away your, your time on this earth. I mean, and that's just, you know, assuming you live till you're 80 or 90. Some of us are not gonna make it that far. You might get hit by a bus, right? You might get some illness. Something could happen to you. You never know. Get on the wrong plane. You don't know right? You don't know when it's going to end. And I mean, life is a gift. That's the way I see it. It is a gift. This is why I do not like to waste my time on dumb middle school crap, right? I get like haters or whatever doing, uh, trying to get, provoke me to do like respond to them because I have a much bigger audience. <laughs> I like, yeah, even when they're wrong, right? I've seen a few. I'm like, oh, this dude's totally off. Right? There, there's some false ass accusations on here, right? And I don't, I'm just like, you know what? I've, I've got employees, man. I've got another business I'm in the works of buying. Uh, I've got family that need me right now. There's so many other things I'd rather be doing. I'm like, I hadn't worked out since Monday. I'd rather go to the gym than sit there and you know play grab ass with some other low value jackass, right? It's just a waste of time, you know? So this is why I say, you know, if you're feeling like in today's air, today's environment where it's never been so easy to get rich, it's never been so easy to chase your goals, your aspirations, and become anything you want to be in life, there's no excuses. And you're still sitting there creating excuses. You are a pussy, okay? You're just a loser. That's all it boils down to, right? That's all it boils down to. 
if you're, you know, falling prey to a lot of this, like, especially this activism lately that is meant to draw you in and make you feel like, you know, you've been done wrong, uh, <laughs> give me a break, man. You know, and this is what happens when we don't have any, uh, any wars to fight. When we don't have anything that, uh, as a country, we need to pull together. Like in World War One or World War Two, you know, when we're fighting Hitler. Back then, everybody pulled together. The women back then had to take a lot of the jobs that the men had to give up because they had to go off to war. And we bonded together. There was no time to go to these protests. No time. To, I'm being oppressed. I'm being oppressed. Because people were like, get out of the way. Dude, we, we got to take care of stuff. Right? We've got a war going on. We got to beat Hitler. You know, a lot of things going on, man. We don't have time for your malarkey right now. So, that's a problem with being, you know, having it too good. We have it way too good, guys. I mean, I, I it is just way too easy for us. I, you know, you, I mean, you don't want to be, you know, our, uh, your, uh, your caveman ancestors where if you were hungry, you had to go grab a spear or a rock and go kill a dinosaur or a pterodactyl. You don't have to do that. You don't have to risk your life if you're hungry. You know what you can do if you're hungry? You can go down to the CVS and get a bag of barbecue chips and a soda and you'll be full. Okay, but let's take it back a couple of thousand years. Could you do that? No. No, we didn't have all this convenience, did we? Didn't have all this convenience. So we had to go out there and stake our claim. And right now, for all these people who are wasting away their lives and their precious youth on this planet by complaining, crying, whining, bitching, these people, if they have any offspring, uh, their ancestors are going to eventually look back in history and hate them, right? They're gonna look back in history because now we have like social media, we have smartphones, all this stuff is being recorded. I mean, the whole world is literally being recorded 24 seven. And your ancestors 100, 200, 300 years from now are gonna look back and go, what a piece of trash. What a loser. What a wuss. Didn't get anything done because we may not have this abundance forever, guys. Let me tell you that. A lot of people think, ah, oh, it's okay. I started that business whenever, right? You're not going to have that abundance forever. You just won't, okay? You just won't. You're not going to have that level of abundance forever. It will, it will disappear one day, right? I've always said, like, you know, our country is becoming weaker and weaker. If you live in the U.S. like I do, I would not be surprised if China or one of these other stronger companies comes over and takes over the country because our military has become uh, woke. You should see those ads, right? Compare the ads, the military ads, with, uh, I mean, I know the U.S. Navy just did one, right? But uh, there's also one of uh, some chick who was raised by two mommies and stuff, and it's like, all right, that's, you know, I have no opinion on that, well, I do, but <laughs> um, that has nothing to do with protecting this country. Why, why is this being put forward? But then you watch one of like the China military, uh, they're training their soldiers to be badass, strong, masculine, right? Die for their country. There's no wokeness over there, but they're loving seeing it over here because, you know, as we get weaker and weaker and uh, all these people who are complaining, bitching and, you know, uh, <laughs> This country has too much toxic masculinity. You're not gonna have any toxic men to, uh, masculinity to protect you when we get taken over, right? There's not gonna be any real men left, any masculine men who are gonna be able to protect you. You know, it, it happens to every civilization throughout history who gets conquered. The weaker they get, you know, the more feminine they get, the weaker they get. It happened to all of them. Ancient Rome, ancient Greece, they became more feminized, the men became emasculated, they became weak, and then they got conquered by the barbarians. Simple as that. The barbarians came in, raped all the freaking women. All right, Genghis Khan did the same thing. Took all the women for himself. You don't think that could happen again? No, it's too civilized. I mean, it may be more civilized, but it could still happen. Uh, my point being is uh, stop complaining, right? Stop 
acting like you're oppressed or you're some kind of victim or something like that. When you're living in the most freest, most abundant time in history, right? We've never been, we've never had so much abundance in history. Whether it's food, whether it's, uh, whether it's, you know, careers, whether it's cars, you name it. Nothing but abundance. We're surrounded by abundance. Take advantage of it and enjoy your life and enjoy the fruits that our forefathers risked their lives for, our grandfathers, our family members who went to war. Don't piss it away. Enjoy it. Love it or leave it. As always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video, anything you'd like to add, anything you would like to share. Love to see your comments below. Um, and uh, if you gain value from tonight, let me know. Let me know below. I'll see you there. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my Alpha Male Secrets channel. I've been checking my analytics, man. And too many of you guys are still not yet subscribed to the Alpha Male Secrets channel here on the YouTube. So please make sure you're subscribed as well. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And, uh, you know, just, just help a brother out and subscribe. And for you guys who love my work and all of this amazing content I'm teaching you here on the Alpha Male Secrets, uh, the best way to support my work is becoming a premium member of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm protecting my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut me down one day. They won't be able to because all my content will be protected. It is being protected on my private platform. So this is the absolute best way to support my work is becoming a premium Alpha Male Secrets subscriber on my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which is being hosted on a private platform. Right now, it's only a buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So take advantage of it. Okay, all you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.